We're back with another golf characteristic. This time we're going to talk about scooping. As always, Amber, yeah, scooping ice cream, um, is going to give us some information about what scooping is. And then uh, based on her idea, we're going to go through a couple exercises that I'll show you uh, that can help you improve on that aspect of scooping. So Amber, what is scooping? Scooping um, is when it's a downswing characteristic. So as you're coming down into the swing, instead of maintaining this angle that we like here, you end up early releasing and you might to get the ball up into the air, scoop it up, send it up, possibly send it up or send it straight down depending on where you actually hit the ball. So a lot of problems with this, you know, you might hit way behind the ball, you might top the ball. There's all kinds of different things that could happen with this and there's all different kinds of reasons why you might be a scooper. Maybe your wrists are immobile, maybe your core is not super stable, maybe because of a lack of ability to move your hips, you can't fire like you're supposed to and therefore you try to make up with and uh, scoop early uh, with your golf swing. Perfect. Exercises for dealing with the scoop. So she told you it may be something to do with the core and that's what we're going to look at a little bit more here. Um, it's also going to involve your hip mobility and stability and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck with uh, this first exercise but really and as she said also having trouble getting into that hip will cause you to scoop a little bit. So we're going to work on that as well. So core and getting into that hip, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is what we call a hay baler. So Amber's going to kneel down. She's going to have the leg closest to the band down on the ground. She's going to start out with the band at the chest height there. She's going to press it up and away. Good. And then on the way back down, keeping her arms straight, she's going to control it back down. Here's where we're resisting the rotation using our core, but also we're working on getting into our left hip here, which as a right-handed golfer, for Amber, that was what we want to work on. So pressing it up, controlling back down. All right. Nice control there. Now, the other exercise we're going to do is actually a stretch. I'm going to have Amber sit down on the ground. All right. She's going to have one big thing that we got to make sure is toes are up high. A lot of times people will let the toes relax. We need those toes up high as they can be. And notice her legs are out a little bit wide. She's going to lift her chest up, keeping herself nice and tall. And then she's going to internally rotate one knee, making sure her hip doesn't come off the ground. And she's going to feel a stretch right through here and coming around the top of the knee. Then she's going to let it come back and she's going to do the other side. We're going to say do six to eight of those on each side usually, um, but make sure you feel like you're using the muscles to actually pull the knee in. You're actually working on getting into that hip right there. So sitting down doing that hip internal rotation stretch will help you get into that hip. We got this uh, hay baler that will allow you to work on your core, but also getting into that hip. So hopefully those will help resolve some of the issues that may be causing your scooping.